Hello, welcome to this uh, presentation where we are looking at um, the arithmetic mean of an AP. This is the third presentation that we are making in this topic. So I hope you have looked at the first one and the second one. So, uh, what is involved in um, finding the arithmetic mean? So, an arithmetic mean of an AP is the middle, is the middle term of three consecutive what? Terms of an AP. So we are given an example here that if A, B, and C are three consecutive terms, then the middle one is B. So definitely it becomes what? Um, it becomes our arithmetic mean. So now what we are saying is that how do we uh, get to find B? For instance, if you look at it, we have A, B, and C. What formula do we use to find the, uh, the common difference? We say it's the second term, which is B minus. Again, it will be the third term, which is C minus B. So when we begin to solve for B here, you will discover that we're going to have B. And this one, the additive inverse comes this side as it, plus B is equals to C plus A. This gives us 2B, then A plus C, or C plus A. Then you divide by, by, so B is equals to, that is where 1 over 2 A plus C is coming from. That is where this formula is coming from. It's from all this here. Okay? This is the formula that we use to find the what? The, um, this is the formula that we use to find the what's this? The arithmetic mean. So now, let us look at the, the first question. Let us look at the first question. We want to look at the first question and get to know what is expected of us. Alright? I hope we are paying attention. Let's look at the first question and get to know what is expected of us. Alright. So, find, find x and y if... 16x6 six, form an AP. Alright? That is what we are supposed to do. So what are we supposed to do? So to find x here, x is, the, is, is in the middle of 16 and 6. So we are going to say, going by this formula here, as you have seen, b is equal to what? So our b in this case is x. So x is equal to we have A, which is 16, plus C, which is 6. 16 plus 6 divided by 2. We have 2 here, which is 1 over 2, that is good as divided by 2. This gives us what? 22. 22 divided by 2. What do we get? We get X is equals to 11. X is equals to 11. So I have found the value of x here. This is the value of x. This is the value of x. Okay? So now, uh, we have something like 16, 11, 6, and y. So we are only remaining with y. How do we find y? So maybe we can easily find y by uh, getting to know what our common difference is because you know the common difference is the constant that we use to add to find the next term so how do we find the common difference common difference is t2 which is the second term minus t1 so our t2 is 11 11 minus 16 what do we get we get minus 5 so it appears this has to be added. When you add this negative 5 to this number, it gives you this one. When you add this number to, it gives you this one. So, even y, y will be equals to, we need to add this to this number. So, for y, we are going to say, y, y is equals to 6. Then to get the next term, we need to add the 
common difference, which is 5. So this is going to be 6 minus 5, which will give us 1. So the value of y is 1. The value of y is 1. So you have got 16, 11, 6, and 1 here. All right? That is what you are supposed to do. That is what you are supposed to do. I hope we are uh, paying attention. I hope we are paying attention. You should be able even to find one of these two if he, the arithmetic mean uh, the arithmetic mean is given. All right? So let's go to the second one. The second part. Let's go to the second question here. Let's go to the second uh, question. Let's go to the second question. Let's go to the second question here. Uh, form an AP, which is an arithmetic progression that has two arithmetic means between negative 4 and 5. What are we talking about? Negative 4 is the first one. A, B, this is what we mean. Form this where we should have two arithmetic means between. That is what, if they say seven arithmetic means in between, we are going to have seven of these letters. Three, you are going to have three of those letters. So what are we supposed to do in this case? In this case, I suggest that we go back to the formula of the nth term. We go back to the formula of the nth term so that we find the common difference. So that we find the common difference. What are we supposed to do? What I mean is, when you look at um, this formula for the nth term, when you look at this formula, I was saying we need to find the common difference. The common difference is going to help us to be adding to get the next what? The next term. So in this case, what we have is um, the first term, we have the first term as what? We have the first term as negative 1, 4. Then, we also know what the, the fourth term is. The fourth term is 5. The fourth term is 5. So we can say, we can say the fourth term is 5. Please get to, get to, uh, get to understand my point. So the first term is negative 4 plus our fourth term here. I'm saying our fourth term. Our fourth term, 1, 2, 3, 4. Our fourth term is 5. So we are going to say 4 minus, 4 minus 1. Then D. So our fourth term, our fourth term is 5. So we want to find the common difference. Our fourth term is 5. So this is what we are going to do. Minus 4 plus, we work out this one here. What do you get? 3 multiplied by d. And this is equal to what? 5. So 3d is equal to 9. This one, the additive inverse of this one is positive 4, which is going to add to this 5 to give us 9. Then to get the value of the, our d is 3. You divide both sides by 3, which is as good as multiplying both sides by a multiplicative inverse of 3. So this is our common difference. The one that we add to get the next term. The one that we add to get the next term. So now we can get back to this one. We want to find what is this A and what is this B. So the, you remember, common difference is the constant that we add. The previous term to get the next term, which is... We add to the previous term to get the next term. So now, we add this 3 to this one. When we add 3 to 4, what do we get? We get negative 1. Are we together? When you add, again, this 3 to negative 1, when you add this 3 to negative 1, what does it give you? It gives you 2. It gives you what? 2. When you add it, Again, it gives you 5. So, you see, it has brought you back to 5. So, the, the, arithmet, the two arithmetic means that we have inserted here, it's negative 1 and 2. 
it's negative 1 and 2. So this is the formula that you use. Like in this case where they tell you, form an AP that has got a 3. So you need to have, the first one is going to be a 1, A, B, C, then you have 4 here. So this is the fifth term. So that you do the same thing. Of, 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 okay? That is basically what, these, these are straightforward here. These are straightforward. So I have given you number 3, 4, and 5. They are yours for your practice. They are yours for your practice so that you, you do not have um, uh, challenges. I, give, I, I gave you three questions for you to work out. I hope you have gotten something and that is what is expected of you in the exam. Alright? Um, do subscribe to this channel so that all the videos that we upload, you are able to, to watch them. Thank you so much for watching. Alright?